Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Dida Lancier LSA 406 sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 61 millimeter lenses in a 17 millimeter Bridge. Now, as far as the exact colorway of these frames, these have a frame color of matte crystal gray and then black palladium here on the titanium. And then the lenses are Adidas uh, C lens, which are a gray polarized C lens. And the optical clarity of these is really, really good. These do have CR39 lenses, so they are very, very lightweight. And the frames come in at only 28 grams, which is really nice. And again, that's thanks to their CR39 uh, lightweight lenses and then their titanium. Uh, core based here on these frames. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar about the Dida Lancier uh, lens in frame lineup, it is basically a series of frames based around super light and super crisp uh, lenses which are meant more for performance than kind of style if that makes sense. So out of all the frames there are only three different lens options, a land lens, a sea lens, and an air lens. Their air lenses are non-polarized, uh, their brown lenses are polarized, and then their sea lenses of course are polarized as well. Now Dita says that the sea lens here is going to be great for sailing, fishing, and beach activities, and that the lens contrasts reds and skin tones from blue backgrounds of the sky and ocean, and they also maximize polarization to reduce glare from the ocean and water environment. So these lenses are going to be great for all those activities and really is a very high performance, very high clarity lens. The lens also offers a hydrophobic coating which makes cleaning them super super easy and it's also going to protect the surface as well and also has a nice antifunctive material here in the back side of the lens as well and it's going to help block sunlight coming in and bouncing off the lens into your eye they're also going to block hundred percent of uva and uv rays which is extremely important for your eye health overall a really really fantastic lens on all the three different lens options that Dita produces. I really do like this lens lineup. As far as styling goes, I really do like the look of these frames. They definitely look really unique and offer a really good looking uh, aviator, oversized aviator style to them. And I like this metal uh, bar that goes all the way up here and then down to the temples. It kind of makes like one seamless look with the injected plastic uh, front. It, it really does make the frames look really good and it also adds a ton of rigidity. And this all really helps these frames come in at that weight of 28. Eight grams. Now if we take a closer look at the lens, here we can see a little Adida Lancier logo here. And if we take a look underneath that, we can see the little waves there, which stand for the C lens. Now if of course it was the air lens, it would have the air lens logo or the land lens, it would have the land logo. Uh, so really nice touch on there. Now these frames do have very nice and premium uh, three barrel all metal hinges, which feel really, really good, uh, very substantial and nice and very, very solid. Again, these are made out of titanium. So all the metal you see here is that titanium so it's going to be very durable and very lightweight and then I really do like these kind of uh, non-slip grip uh, ear rests as well so they're going to just slip behind the ear and feel really really good and they're not going to move uh, on you so they're not going to slide off the face very easily and they also do have the same material here on their fully adjustable nose rests with a little grip on there as well and these are really nice fully adjustable nose rests which feel really really good uh, right out of the box. Now if we take a look at the bottom temple of the frames we can see it says Dida Lancier and then here on the other side we can see the little Lancy Air logo etching there for authentication purposes as well. Now if we take a look here at the uh, inside left ear rest, we can see all the lens size and the dimensions and the model number. And then here if we take a look at the inside right ear rest, we can see it does say made in Japan. And then moving down to the tips, we can also see a little accessory attachment for like a leash. So you can easily attach something uh, to these frames. And it's actually not just connected to the silicone grip, it's actually connected to the titanium metal frame. So it's not going to fall off with the tip which is a really, really nice touch. And I do like the look of that as well. I think that does look kind of cool and interesting. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames are not going to offer the best coverage from the sun. So here up top, we can see there's a pretty big gap that does let sunlight in unprotected because they do sit pretty flat in the face. And then here on the sides, again, we can see a massive gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. So overall, not the most practical pair of frames out there, but they definitely still do offer really good styling in my opinion. Well, overall, I really do like these frames. Uh, again, they do offer a really good oversized styling to them. Them, which I do enjoy, uh, but definitely it's not going to be for everybody. 
Now, as far as pricing goes, these are actually one of the most expensive Lancier models coming in at $500. We do have this pair used available on our website for a substantial discount off the original full uh, MSRP. Uh, so if you wanna check that out, go over to our website. But uh, overall, a really decent pair of frames, and I've actually been wearing these all the time in my car and uh, definitely have been enjoying these over the past couple months. That's actually why I haven't made a video over these is because I've just kept these in my car and been um, wearing these a lot. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like how easy it is to put them on and put them off. And I really do like kind of the oversized styling with the lightweight lenses. It's just a really good combination. And uh, you know, it just looks a little kind of modern too. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. I'm definitely very interested to know. I also really do like these uh, with the land a lens as well. I think that looks really classy. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys in the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.